Yumi asked me to do a letter M design two months ago. I fell sick, so I'm catching up on all the requests that are coming through. Guinea, this M letter is for you. We're going to do it together. You're going to press T for text in order for you to type the letter, capital letter M, and make it nice and big so that it is logo like and it fills your canvas. We want to use the Playfair Display SC font. And we want a nice big M that looks like this. Because we're going to do a two color one, we're going to duplicate this and have different colors. So I would love to have the first one be a yellow. So we're gonna search for yellow and pick a nice bright, not that bright yellow, like this mellow yellow. And then hold the Alt key to duplicate the shape. And then the second one, we're gonna make the color green. This is the one that I want. And when you're happy that they are exactly the same size, you're gonna download these so that you convert them to a PNG so that you're able to crop them. We can't crop text, that's why we're going to download this as a transparent background. And we download it as a PNG. And we're going to delete the text and then we're gonna add our two letters that we've downloaded as a PNG one. Once it has uploaded, you're going to crop these so that you have the exact size for both of them. So it depends on how big you want your M to be. We're gonna make it nice and big. And then the first M, we're going to crop out the green M so that we have a, a little bit of a yellow. So we're gonna go to crop and then we take out the rest of the M and then we leave just a small portion of the M and we click on done and then we duplicate that and then we crop the second portion so that we have the bigger M like that and we click on done then we start aligning the two to each other so you can always crop to see if they match like that so we're gonna move the little yellow one to be exact size as the big green one so i'm gonna click done and then just move it a little bit up until they are aligned and i'm happy like that great stuff then we're going to take these two and move them just slightly out of the way because now the fun begins of us creating a leaf we're going to press l for line and we are going to change the color of the line and make it a green color so we're gonna continue with this photo color of ours that we're busy using and then we're gonna increase the weight of the leaf to be a size 10 and then we want the corners to be rounded points and then we want we want to use we're going to select your line then you want to use the line type you want to start curving it we're going to curve it you select curve because we want to create a leaf therefore we hold the points so that you're able to bend it whichever way that you want so we want to create a leaf and we're going to duplicate that and we rotate it and then we can make them combine them so that they are pointy together like that great stuff we are happy we can always group them and resize them just a little bit so that we can align them to our m bring the m to be the middle of the page and then we start our design we bring the leaf and we combine it with our M so that it looks something like that just gonna tidy this a little bit up just a tiny bit and you know if you want to control lines or shapes you can always zoom in it gives you a much better control of the design 
then we're going to use our line to create the stem of our leaf we're going to change the color and make that a yellow and we move the shape just a little bit and we bend it and then we move it inside our leaf so that it is aligned to the M so we zoom in we combine the two like that then we duplicate this stem shape and we reduce the size to make it a smaller size like a eight or a seven and then you create the leaf the insides of the leaf by bending it this way and you rotate it and then you add it to the leaf you make your adjustments and the last piece of the puzzle you're going to duplicate your M make them stand on exactly on top of each other then you prop your M and then you take out the rest of the M this way and then you click on done so again if you like to give it a name you can always type T for text and then you add your, your company name and once you're done you're gonna download as a transparent background you're gonna go share PNG and you're gonna select transparent background it is a kind of a pro feature so you can use my link in the description below to trial the Canva Pro and your letter M design is downloaded and you're going and then you're gonna access photo P the online editor that converts to 3d you're gonna select templates and you can use templates or you can upload your own templates by selecting upload to computer and then you pick any template that you want to use this is my favorite currently and then you're going to open it and select the link to open the mock-up after it has loaded you're gonna go where it says your logo here and double click on the checkered box and then it shows you how your logo should look like and then you're gonna hide the example and then go find your 2d that you've downloaded from canva and then add it to the design and then you're going to make it nice and big like the designer showed us just now so you're going to make it nice and huge you can always zoom out to make it fill the page but make sure that it's not cropping out your design And then you're going to press command s or control s to change it to a smart object and then you click on the first tab to go access your absolutely gorgeous design that you've created on canva and to download this you're going to go file and then you're going to export it as the format that you want so if you want to send it to printers you'll choose pdf if you want a pd png for your website or your social media you choose anyone else you want and then you download it by clicking save i have a whole lot of intricate and tips for you on our canva course that i'm busy upgrading if you go to the link below and you find me on udemy there's a special currently running now for you to access it for the rest of your life and learn with me i hope this has inspired you i love this logo i will see you with our next one that's on our list yeah.